Hey guys, it's Nick. Well, Hawks are on a five game losing streak and it most likely continues tonight versus the Vegas Golden Knights. Um, the Golden Knights had a big win versus the Washington Capitals the other night with a questionable hit from Ryan Reeves. But honestly, it the Hawks are on the complete dark days right now where a coach that seems to not know much on what he has to do to fix uh, confidence in this roster because right now the Blackhawks have a confidence issue. Going into this game, the Hawks have only won two games out of their last ten and that's about two games in their last um, 15 almost. It's been a rough patch for the Blackhawks right now. Going into this game, they haven't won a game in, a, in five games. And I think it continues. It's f frankly sad to see this team go through this dark, the dark days. Cam Ward's expected to be in net tonight because Corey Crawford played last night. He did play solid, but he did have an issue where he keeps pinching his elbow when he needs to make a save. That's been a problem with Crow this year. He hasn't figured out stop pinching up on his um, elbow. And I expect the lineup to be changed a little bit because it hasn't been working. But honestly, if it doesn't change, I wouldn't be surprised. Sorry if you heard that ping. That was my cell phone doing a weird noise for notification-wise. But for the top two scorers for each team, for the Golden Knights, it's Jonathan Martin, sir with 21 points and William Carlson with 21 points. For the Blackhawks it's Patrick Kane with 31 and Jonathan Taze with 23. The Golden Knights have more of a depth scoring. The Hawks have more of a top end scoring team where Taze, Kane, Zod, Debrinkit, all are our top scorers and um the Golden Knights have about five players averaging 20 points. The Hawks only have, um, I want to say it's only two players, and it's Taze and Kane. Maybe Debrinkit has 20 points, I can't remember. But honestly, if Cam Ward's in net, we could have a chance in winning because he does play solid against good teams this year, I've noticed. And it's expected Marc-Andre Fleury is a net for the Golden Knights. But honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they put Malcolm Subban in. If they do that to try to give Subban a confidence boost because he's... 0 4 and 0 for his starts, and they're playing the Blackhawks, who haven't been good all season. The Hawks are coming into rough, are coming into tonight, going to have a rough one because they're coming in on a back to back where the Golden Knights did not. This is my issue this year. I've noticed. There's been more back-to-backs where the Blackhawks have played on their first back-to-back -back where the other the opponent has not played a back-to-back, -back, has not played the same night as the Hawks to go into a back-to-back. -back. That's been my issue all season because it's been, it seems like every opponent the Hawks have had coming in off of a back-to-back, -back, it's led to a team that has not played um back to back games if you it's been a i feel like the NHL needs to fix that situation because it's 
getting stupid. And maybe in the fact that teams are playing three and four nights, every, it seems like every week now. Because the Hawks have played three and four nights a pass. I want to say almost um almost a month they've every week it's been a three and four nighter they need to the hawks are coming in on a rough time and this is not helping them in confidence and and energy um maybe when we get to the winter classic the team will have fun but honestly it's getting really rough to watch. The Hawks only have 9 wins. They have 15 losses and 5 overtime losses. That's a rough record to fathom. We do need to see a boost in confidence on this team. So leave a comment down below what's your thoughts and takes going to this game. And who's your pick to click? My pick to click tonight Hopefully, if it does work out, I'm going with, uh, um, I'll go with, um, I will end up going with, um, Jonathan Taves, because he's played solid this season, and <laughs> Taves and Kane's been the most trustworthy players to have as a pick to click this year. So, leave your pick to click down below, and most of all, thanks for watching the broadcast. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, but most of all, let's go Hawks!